Namibians woke up to the news that the former ministers are implicated in international fishing bribery scandal involving Iceland's fishing company Samre J. According to Fish Rod Files published by WikiLeaks, Samre J paid bribes and kickbacks amounting to $150 million to ESO, Shangala, and chairperson of the National Fishing Corporation, James Hatwi Kulipi, who worked as a consultant for Samri J. The briberies were reportedly sanctioned by Samri J's former managing director, Johannes Stefansen, between 2012 and 2018. President Gengob summoned ESO and Shangala to State House before their resignations. State House Press Secretary Alfredo Hengari would not divulge detailed information on the meeting but confirmed that President Gengob has accepted the resignations with the understanding of the severity of the allegations against the two ministers. Contacted for comment, Shangala told NBC News that any announcement must be made by the presidency while ESO's phone numbers went unanswered. The two are the latest to have exited Gengob's cabinet this year, after former Education Minister Katrina Hanse Himarwa, who was convicted of corruptly using her office as a governor to benefit relatives. Meanwhile, Home Affairs Minister Franz Kapofi will act in the justice portfolio, and Attorney General Albert Kawana will act as Minister of Fisheries and Marine Resources. Many have labelled the scandal as a slap in the face for the Gengob administration, which time and again pledged to root out corruption. Press Secretary Hengari said since assuming office, President Gengob had taken practical steps to fight corruption, promoting transparency and accountability. Blanche Corres, NBC News.